this is Ellie. And Ellie and I are gonna do a review, a product review for the Otteroo Lumi today. Ellie is four months old and she has uh, many disabilities. She has anophthalmia, uh, which means she's blind. She was born with no eyes. She also has a brain malformation called schizencephaly, where she's missing part of her brain. And she was also born with hydrocephalus, which means her head was swollen very large um, and filled with fluid. So she's always had a pretty heavy head. Um, it's gone down now but uh, because of treatment, but she still has very little head and neck control. And so this review is gonna be based on a handicapped baby's use of the Otteroo and whether it's um, good for them or not. And um, every baby is different though, so obviously you'll have to use your own judgment if it's right for your baby or not. So our initial thoughts with the Otteroo, when I looked at it, um, I thought it was really strange looking that they would just hang by their neck. I didn't really want something like that around my baby's neck. Um, I was wondering if it would hurt her, um, if it was safe to use, since she'd just be dangling in the water. Um, but I saw a video on Facebook advertising for it, and um, uh, it looked really neat and looked like something Ellie might want to try, and so we went ahead and got one for her. So Ellie is going to go over to her sister right now and hang out with her so I can show you the features of the Otteroo. Here you go. Okay, so this is the actual name brand Otteroo. There, uh, it should be noted that there are cheaper versions of these um, that you can buy on Amazon or other places. Um, but those cheaper ones do not have a lot of the features that the Otteroo actually has. So there's the regular Otteroo and there's the Otteroo Lumi. This is the Otteroo Lumi, which basically means it's clear, um, where the Otteroo, uh, the regular Otteroo is kind of like, looks like it's been painted blue on the bottom, so you can't actually see through it. Um, so the Lumi was designed for babies to be able to see their bodies as they're in the water and they're moving. Um, obviously that doesn't really help Ellie because she's blind, um, but we still wanted the clear one because um, I wanted to be able to see her body move around to see if she was in distress or if she was having a hard time at all um, for safety purposes. Um, so I just felt more comfortable with the clear one, the Lumi, which is just a couple dollars more. Um, the age requirement for the Otteroo um, is eight plus weeks old. Um, there's no space in the neckline, so when it's clamped together, it's actually a full circle here. You don't have a gap. And some of the cheaper versions have like a gap back there, which made me pretty uncomfortable looking at it. Um, it also has a smooth neckline. So it says on the box that it's supposed to be seamless. There's actually a seam in there, but it's really, really smooth. Um, so we checked that out before we put Ellie in it and it wasn't like gonna hurt her at all. Um, there's also two safety buckles, one on top and one on bottom so that it holds it securely closed so your baby won't fall through. Um, it's made of really thick, heavy-duty plastic, so this is not something that's flimsy, so it really feels like it's really more secure for you to put your baby in. Um, in the front here, this is it goes on like this, this is the back, here's the front. The front has a chin rest. It kind of dips in right here, and um, that's so that the baby's chin can rest there, and uh, the cheaper versions also did not have this feature, and I really liked this feature because it gives them a nice uh, place to put their chin so they won't be choked or anything and they can be comfortable. Um, so the way that you put it on, it takes two people from what I've seen. Um, I normally have to help uh, hold Ellie and then um, somebody else will have to take the otter and put it around her neck. You have to kind of pull apart or tweak it to the side like this to get it around. And then after that, you just clasp it in the front and you clasp it in the back and it's securely on the baby's neck, and then you just lower the baby in the water. Obviously, you don't hold the baby from the tube. You hold the baby and lower the baby into the water. And um, so let's go ahead and go in the other room and try Ellie out in the otter room. All right, we have Ellie all ready. She's ready to go in the tub. Um, let's go ahead and get her otter room on, sissy. So I hold her stable while her sister puts it around her neck. Get her chin in the front where the chin rest is. Uh -huh. It's a little bit awkward, to be honest, but once you get it in there, then you're good to go. All right. Her chin is not in the front there, sissy. There we go. Her head was stuck because she's getting chubby. Okay. Clip it in there. Okay, she's secure. Now we lower Ellie in. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Ellie. Let's see. What are you going to do? Are you going to go swimming? Oh, my girl. 
So it should be noted that you should never leave your baby alone in the tub. Obviously, you don't want to risk your baby's life by trusting this otteroo. Uh, it does a great job, though. It's really a, it seems like a really safe option um, for a handicapped baby in particular. Um, because I know I worry about her a lot. She doesn't have much mobility in her limbs normally. And she's blind, so she doesn't know where she's going and stuff. And this um, is really a fun option for her. Um, it gives her a lot of independence where she normally doesn't have much independence. She's normally carried around a lot. But in this, she can just wiggle around to her heart's content and have a good time. Sometimes she's in, uh, tolerates it for just a couple minutes. Sometimes um, she'll be in here as much as 10 minutes um, before she gets sick of it. So we try to make it a positive experience. If she gets um, upset, then we just stop for the day and try another time. But it works out pretty good for, uh, we even use it for physical therapy. Uh, for her because it just gets her entire body moving and if your baby's having intestinal problems you know it's like even better than bicycling their legs uh, they just it just really gets their whole bodies engaged I see Ellie are you having a good time are you having a good time in your auto room I know you love to swim There you go. You're just doing so great. Yes, you are. There we go, my sweet. I know other parents that have used it um, who have handicapped kids, and they, I've never um, heard any complaints from them either. Their babies always enjoy it very much. And as you can see, Ellie is having a great time. She really likes the freedom that she has when she can swim around by herself. Ellie, I see you. Ellie. Ah, you're turning around. I see you, sweetheart. I see my Ellie. Oh my goodness, bless you. So we're out of the tub, we're all dried off, and Ellie's ready to give it her rating. I would say that uh, Ellie would give the Otteroo Lumi a 10 out of 10. Woo! She loves her Otteroo Lumi. It uh, seems very safe and very enjoyable for her and really good for her overall. So we definitely recommend the Otteroo Lumi for babies with disabilities. Um, so thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click the button below and subscribe to our channel. We're going to have lots of other videos coming your way for parents of uh, babies with blindness and brain disorders. And they're all going to be starring Ellie!